I'm Ron Patterson with Utah State University Extension. Today I'm going to talk about having a blue ribbon exhibit for your summer squash at the county fair. The first thing you want to do is check your guidelines. Each fair should have guidelines as far as how many of which kind of produce you should have for your county fair to display for the judges and for the public to see. So that's the first thing to do. Check your guidelines and follow those guidelines. If you don't follow the guidelines, a lot of times the judges will automatically knock you down to a red ribbon. Now the first thing that the judge is going to see is the uniformity of your display. And so you want to select from your, your options here something that's going to look quite uniform. If you take a big one like that and a small one like that, well that's not very uniform. Even if you stick a middle sized one in there, that's not very uniform. And so the judges will automatically knock that one down. So what you want to do, what I like to do, is kind of order mine by size here and see if I've got something that would look like a pretty good display. Now these are zucchini squash. This variety is Black Beauty. So I will look at these and I don't have enough of the big ones, so I'll to toss those out. I'll take these two small skinny ones out. Those don't look very good. And I'll look at these three in the middle. That one's probably a little bit big. And so if I were to select from what I have here, I would choose these three zucchini squash. They're about the right size. You don't want something that's over mature, over too big. That's getting to the point where it's too big. You want something that's about the right size for eating. These might be just a little bit on the small side, but they really are pretty good eating at this size as well. So, so they're not under mature. You just don't want them to get too big, especially with the summer squash. Now if we zoom in here a little more closely on these three squash fruits, we'll see that um, this one right here was actually picked a couple days earlier and it's starting to get some refrigeration chilling damage on it. And so I'm not too excited about this as a complete display. This one right here, throwing in this one that's a little bit larger would actually make a better display than using this smaller one that was harvested a, a day or two earlier. So you want to watch that for chilling damage and other things. So this would actually be, it probably would make a blue ribbon display right there, those three zucchinis. The most common cause for chilling damage in summer squash is storing them in our refrigerator. We like to have the temperature in the refrigerator around 38 degrees or even sometimes colder. That's just a little bit too cold for summer squash. The ideal temperature for storing summer squash is 45 to 50 degrees when, with high humidity. If you put that in the colder refrigerator, you're going to get chilling damage. And so don't pick your summer squash more than a, a day or so before you're going to take them to the fair for display. So now I will set these off to the side. My purpose today is to select a summer squash exhibit that would do really well at the county fair and I have here another variety of summer squash and this one is just named yellow straight neck squash and so I don't have a variety name for that. Now as far as varieties go you should, a gardener should know the varieties that they're growing. If it says on the seed package yellow straight neck squash and you don't have a whole lot of other choices than that but uh, to just say zucchini squash or something like that usually you've got some varieties that you can deal with on there. So it's always impressive to the judges if you can name that variety. So put the variety name on there. So here I have yellow straight neck squash. These are a little big. This has got some refrigerator damage to it. This one's actually a little bit over mature. These are on the small side. Again, I got some refrigerator damage here. So that leaves me three squashes right here in the middle. And I can pretty quickly, this one is not quite as mature, it's still a little bit green. And so I'll pull that one out. And I have here three very nice yellow straight neck squash. So now I've got selected here three yellow straight neck, three zucchini. And I want to decide between these two which one I think would do better at the fair. The one thing you want to be careful of is, is that you don't break off into the fruit. You want to make sure that you have your, your stem and is cut off. I like to use a knife when I harvest my squash. Just You can twist them off, but sometimes it'll break off into the fruit and that will almost automatically give, in my book, a red ribbon. 
if you've got it broken off into the fruit like that. So I want to look at these two here. Got a little bit of a mark on that one. Some mechanical damage there on that one. Just a little bit, but not too bad. These are looking really good. These are not quite as uniform as I'd like to see. I can see a little bit of insect damage on here. A little bit of mechanical damage. Either one of these would actually make a pretty good display or exhibit at the fair. But for this purpose, I think I like the yellow squash, the straight neck squash better. And so now we need to get it ready to display. Want to make sure that the fruit is clean, so wipe it off, any dirt off there, and, and provide or present a clean product to the judges and to the, to the public. Some fairs will provide plates for you so that they're all the same and some don't, so you just need to know kind of how your county fair works. So you've got that displayed there. Now, sometimes you'll have a little bit of time before the judge sees them from the time that you actually get them into the um, fair before the judge comes to judge them. It's got a little bit, I want to be careful I don't rub that too hard. A little bit of dirt on that. It looks good. You want to be sure that the, uh, the fruit stays as fresh as possible until the judge comes to take a look at it. Once the judge looks at it, then it can kind of wilt a little bit. But, but sometimes there's a, a couple or three hours between the time that you bring the f produce to the fair and the time that the judge comes to take a look at it. And so you want to make sure that it stays as fresh as possible. So what I like to do is um, put my produce either in a sealable bag, a Ziploc type bag, or you can put saran wrap over it. I probably should have put the plate in first. Put that into a bag and kind of keep that sealed so it'll stay fresh. Or you can put saran wrap over the top of it. You want to make it short, make it so that the judge can still get into it, pick out the fruit and take a look at it to see, to do his, to do his or her judging so that uh, you've got it available for the, for the looking all the way around the fruit. So there I have it. I've got a blue ribbon display of squash that I can take to the county fair and let the judge have a look at it and kind of show off to my neighbor just a little bit. And so there's just another way that you can have fun with your garden.